Hello everyone, back to you to our latest seasonal look at with the E7F, Metro France and DWD long range models from the Copernicus website. We're going to be going through the next few months worth of data with these uh, three long range season models to see what we're showing for the rest of the spring, the summer and even into the start of the autumn. Thanks for tuning in on your Easter Sunday afternoon. I uh, know that you've all got so many other uh, things to be doing, so uh, it's always appreciated when you uh, decide to spend your uh, Easter days or your Christmas days and whatnot with us at Gazworthy. So big thank you to all of you for tuning in and I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, your Easter Sunday. And not only is it Easter Sunday, it's also Soda Sunday at Gals Love is today. So uh, Soda Sunday is currently on the homepage. Always very special when we do a Soda Sunday because we only do a couple of these a year. So um, that video is on the homepage right now. It will be placed on the Soda Cycle 24 and 25 updates page. Later on, we see there will be a written post that uh, goes over what we discuss in, uh, in the video of uh, Soda Sunday. The competition will be closing very short. We're going to close the competition at 5 p.m. Winner will be announced at 7 p.m. So you haven't yet entered the competition, then you've only got a little while to do so, uh, and then the competition will be closing at 5 o'clock. We'll announce our winner at 7 o'clock. Big, big thank you to all of you uh, for entering our competition again this year and making it such a uh, special event. Can you believe uh, also this evening we're going to have um, and a little update for May Day Bank Holiday Weekend. So we're only halfway through the Easter weekend, but um, May Day is now within the time frame of the uh, long range uh, extended GFS, I should say. So we're going to have uh, the first update for May Day Bank Holiday Weekend coming up probably around 8 o'clock tonight. Really busy day at Gaza Office. We never stop, not even for Easter. Right, so let's get on with this one then. We're going to start off with the mean sea level pressure anomalies from Metro France uh, for the next few months. So we're beginning here with the uh, free monthly uh, anomaly, the tri monthly anomaly, I suppose I should say, for uh, May, June, and July. Uh, 2019. So this is how the mean sea level pressure anomaly is looking with Metro France for the uh, for the trimester period May, June, July. There's not a great deal to be seen actually. It looks like we've got very uh, near normal, close to average mean sea level pressure anomalies. Maybe hitting a bit of high pressure to the south of Scandinavia, but you really have to uh, squint to find that. Uh, basically, it looks like we've got average mean sea level pressure anomalies there. The next tri-monthly period uh, for June, July, August, which of course is the summer of uh, 2019, that doesn't tell us much either. We've just got all of this sort of white going on, so there's not really much to go on at all there from a mean sea level pressure uh, perspective from uh, Metro France. And then this goes on into uh, July, August, September which is the final tri-monthly uh, period for this update. And again, just very, very little to go on. All of this white here, which is kind of like average or probably more likely no signal. Um, so really, from a mean sea level pressure anomaly uh, perspective, there is nothing to go on uh, from Metro France. But let's have a look at its temperature anomaly, see if we can glean more information from there. So we go through to uh, May, June, July temperature anomaly from Metro France. But what is very evident is that a really warm Europe is being forecast here. So we've got many sort of central parts of Europe, like one to two degrees above average. Out to the north and west, including the UK and Ireland, it's not quite that warm. But nevertheless, still significantly warmer than average, up to a degree warmer than average. So clearly, this is a very warm start to um, our forecast period. The next tri-monthly period takes us through uh, June, July, August. That also looking very warm. So despite the fact that there's nothing really to play on, uh, to work with in terms of the mean cinema pressure anomaly from Metro France from a temperature anomaly perspective very warm indeed particularly through most central and southern and eastern parts of Europe out to the northwest it's not quite as warm as that but it's still warmer than average we're still talking about being on the warmer than average side uh, up to a degree uh, perhaps above average um, for UK for Ireland for Scandinavia 
And then this goes on to a final tri-monthly period as well. So this is right room for a really warm sort of summer and evening to early autumn across Europe. Again, substantially above average with these rate colours here covering most parts of Europe out to the north and the west. It's not quite as warm as that, but even so, we're uh, half a degree to one degree uh, above average very widely across the northwest of Europe uh, as we go from those uh, tri-monthly anomalies starting with May, June, July and finishing at July, August and uh, September too. Precipitation wise, this is how things are looking from Metro France. So uh, very dry for the coming tri-monthly period, May, June, July, very dry here across central parts of uh, Europe, closer to average out to the northwest. So I think this is telling us that it's likely to be a big area of high pressure to be sitting across these central parts of the Europe. Really, some sort of ridge is likely to be around here. And up here, we perhaps got just a little bit more influence from the jet stream. So that just keeps things slightly cooler, but still warmer than average. And just not quite as dry as it is across central parts of Europe there. Next tri monthly period is for the summer of 2019, June, July, August. Uh, again, very weak signals for precipitation, as you often find. It does look as though the central parts of Europe are generally coming out quite dry. Out to the north and west of the UK and Ireland, uh, very little signal to uh, work with with that one. And then we go through to the final tri monthly period, which is July, August, September. And also a little bit wetter than average up to the north then. So it's kind of like northern Scandinavia out to the northwest of the UK. Maybe just a few hints that uh, we're beginning to power up the jet stream a little bit here as we come towards the latter part of the summer into the autumn, possibly just beginning to run the jet stream in. Um, just driving average down across Spain and Portugal, so some high pressure there from the Azores high, perhaps. Maybe just going a little bit more westerly then as you get through to the end of the summer and the beginning of the autumn. It's also evident that over towards the Black Sea in Eastern Europe, it's dry there, so high pressure perhaps moving down into the southeast of Europe late in the summer, as opposed to being across central parts of Europe early in the summer. Um, and that possibly allows the Atlantic to come through a little bit more later on. So perhaps hinting with Metro France of being a little bit warmer and drier early on in the summer, then possibly a little bit more unsettled and cooler later on in the summer. But again, these are very, very weak signals. I am reaching a little bit to try and find uh, something to uh, decipher. ECMWF is our next uh, long range model. So we come back to mean sea level pressure anomalies this time from the ECMWF. This is how uh, we're looking for uh, May, June, and July mean sea level pressure anomaly. This is much, much easier to decipher. Going for a big ridge of high pressure to be centered almost over top of the UK. Jet stream, we're going to be going something like that. So again, you would expect a lot of dry and pretty warm, fine conditions there. Uh, to start us off with. The next tri-monthly period is for June, July, August. The summer of 2019 has this area of above average heights over to the west of us. Again, the jet stream is going through something like that. So on the warm side of the jet stream, you expect a lot of dry and quite warm weather, I think, as we go through the summer of uh, 2019. And then the final tri-monthly period from the ECM WF is for uh, July, August, September. This time the high pressure just begins to slip a little bit to the south. It's still there to our west, but it's kind of like centred a little bit to west, south, west country. Perhaps just a bit more influence from the jet stream. So maybe again late on in the summer, just one or two hints, maybe as something a little bit more unsettled. But overall, this is a high pressure dominated uh, period, but we see here quite evidently. Temperature anomalies from uh, ECMWF for May, June and July, becoming tri-monthly period, generally on the warmer than average side, although less so compared to Metro France. See, look at the warmer than average for Spain and Portugal, uh, to a degree above average, and also some central parts of Russia. But really, through most parts of Europe, we're talking about either no signal, which we have there with the white, or we're talking about just being a little bit above average with those yellow colours. UK is a little bit above average. We're on the mild of an average side, but we're not particularly warm. Uh, uh, not as warm as the uh, Metro France model uh, was showing either. This is the summer of 2019, uh, June, July, August, tri-monthly period. 
And again, we see it in Western Europe, it is warmer than average, milder than average, but less so compared to Metro France. There is less sort of orange and red uh, evident with the ECM compared to Metro France. Nevertheless, most parts of Europe are actually forecast to be either average or milder than average, even if the deviation isn't as big as Metro France uh, for this trimonthly period. And then finally, we go through to uh, July, August, September, and it's a mild of an average scene for most areas. You'll notice that gradually, as we're going along, sort of France, southern parts of Europe are getting warmer. The anomaly is getting warmer, so we're up to around half a degree to one degree above average quite widely through uh, France, a bunch of western, southwestern Europe. The UK is kind of like half a degree above average Scandinavia. Half a degree above average. So this is a pretty warm summer that the ECMWF is going for, and even into late summer too. It's just that it's not as warm as it is when we compare to uh, Metro France. ECMWF precipitation anomalies for uh, May, June, and July looking drier than average in the west of Europe. So we've got ridging. We know we've got. Uh, ridging being forecast by the ECMWF long range model. High pressure is in the west of Europe, bringing a lot of dry weather. Also, a bit wet of an average up across parts of Scandinavia, so uh, the jet stream is likely to be pushed off up there. And we've got this ridge sitting around the west of Europe, which is undoubtedly going to bring plenty of dry and warm weather through the early part of the summer if it verifies. This goes on into um, June, July, August. The summer of 2019 is a dry and average summer in the west of Europe again. Northern Europe across Scandinavia, we're talking about average, slightly above average, and no real signal in the east or the southeast of Europe. It does look rather wet, though, around the Black Sea and down towards uh, Turkey. But for the UK and for Ireland, for France, Spain, Portugal, generally on the drive and average side for the east for the uh, summer of 2019. And then finally, we finish up with the trimonthly period of July, August, and September. That drive and average signal is still there to some degree across parts of the UK, Ireland and France, but it is weakening. It is a weakening signal as we're going into the latter part of the summer. It's also a bit wet of an average up across the north of Europe as well. So again, maybe just starting to turn a little bit more unsettled, getting a little bit more influence from the jet by the time you get through to the end of the summer. And then finally, we have the DWD uh, model. So this is how mean sea level pressure anomalies are looking for May, June, July. With DWD, it's placing an area of high pressure over the UK across much of northern Europe. The jet stream is pushed off up there. So again, expect a lot of dry and fine weather from DWD uh, to start us off with. Then we go through to June, July, August. Now, high pressure begins to uh, pull out to our northwest during the summer of 2019. So, just a few hints that high pressure, high pressure is retrogressing towards Greenland. It doesn't show any particularly evident area of low pressure, but very often when high pressure goes into that area, you t in the summer anyway, you can tend to get low pressure forming underneath it. And if that happens, then it can actually turn quite unsettled and quite cool as well. And then we go through to the final trimonthly period, which is for uh, July, August, September. Again, the hints are there that the high pressure is gradually going out to the north and west. So this is perhaps the coolest and most unsettled mean sea level pressure anomaly, anyway, of the three models. Uh, it does suggest maybe that we could be starting to see some low pressure begin to develop around the northwest of Europe as we go through into the latter part of the summer. Temperature anomalies with DWD to start us off significantly warmer than average across most parts of Europe. Again, we're talking about half a degree to one degree widely. Some areas such as northern France and parts of Italy going up to one to two degrees above average. A very warm start to the summer clearly across uh, most parts of Europe. June, July, August is also coming out warmer than average. It does lower, that temperature anomaly does lower a little bit across parts of Scandinavia, the UK and Ireland. We're going more towards sort of just a little bit above average. Um, but actually most parts of Europe again coming out like half a degree to one degree above average widely in the east, widely through the central areas, even warmer than that, down across Spain and Portugal. Uh, and then we get through to the final 
trimonthly period, which is uh, July, August, September. Again, just a few hints that in the northwest it is going closer to average. It's still uh, generally on the mild and average side, but for Scandinavia, for the UK, for Ireland, we are going closer to average. Still looks very warm, though, or warm anyway, across most parts of Europe with those uh, orange colours bathing us. And finally, we've got precipitation from the DWD. And we're starting off, of course, with uh, May, June, July. We find that in the west and the southwest of Europe, it's generally a little bit on the dry and average side. Eastern parts of Europe looking wetter than average. Otherwise, not much of a signal really to uh, start us off with. Uh, then we go through to the summer itself, uh, June, July, August. Again, very, very weak signals. It does look like a wetter than average summer, though, across these eastern parts and southeastern parts of Europe elsewhere. Just much closer to average or no signal, really, uh, with precipitation. And then we finish up in July, in July, August, September. And again, just a few hints that things are beginning to turn more unsettled here. It's going wetter than average across Scandinavia, wetter than average across Scotland into the uh, Norwegian Sea as well. Otherwise, very little signal to be gleaned, really. Most parts of Europe are coming out in those white shaded areas, which is either... Uh, no signal or just sort of um, average uh, precipitation. Reading between the lines, I think we have got one or two hints here about the early part of the summer, at least for the northwest of Europe, for the UK, for Scandinavia, for Ireland, possibly for France, although a little bit more inclusive for France. I think we have got a few hints that for the far northwest of Europe, the early part of the summer is likely to be the warmest and the driest period when we put these three models together, and then the latter part of the summer, the second half of the summer, into the early part of the autumn, just one or two hints that may be starting to turn a little bit cooler, a little bit more unsettled. So possibly one or two hints of a front-loaded summer here, uh, I think this month with the ECWF, Metro France and DWD, and maybe sort of an early-ish tight onset of the autumn by turning it through to the latter part of the summer but again these are very very weak signals i have to say they're really weak signals so i wouldn't necessarily be overly concerned about any of this really i think we need to wait till we do the season model round of the summer of 2019 which we're going to be doing on saturday so very close now to that second uh, summer 2019 season model roundup will be with us uh, will be with you <laughs> on saturday and uh, we'll see what all of the other long range models have to say then because these signals within the copernicus uh, suite of models are very very weak it has to be said so Yes, maybe one or two hints of a front-loaded summer, getting a bit more unsettled late on, a bit cooler as well late on in the summer. But I wouldn't necessarily be particularly concerned. Right, don't forget to check out Soda Sunday. We've got the first update for May Day Back on the weekend coming up tonight. And between now and then, we're giving away our fantastic prize. So somebody will be a winner at Gazzo is very, very shortly. Keep checking back for more. That's all for now. Enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. Thanks so much for tuning in on your Easter Sunday. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.